Hey guys, how are you all doing? It's Alex, the Sega Guru here, and we're here with a brand new update for the Minecraft game, or the Minecraft engine, let's say, coming to the Sega Dreamcast, GameCube, and even PC. So it's not strictly Minecraft, it's kind of a different variation. It's going to unlock a lot of different abilities that Minecraft doesn't currently have, so it's going to be its own thing. Anyway, there is a big update here, and let's take a look. Now the first headline is essentially the engine has been ported to the PC. It's an unoptimized port, achieves a render distance of 64 chunks at 60 FPS running just on a standard laptop. This port also provided the debugging tools he needed to optimize the complex systems like the memory manager. Great thing for the Dreamcast version is now the audio is working. So that's always quite a big hindrance on a lot of ports and a lot of different engine creations and stuff. It's always that the audio causes the issue, mainly because it's essentially a bit of a memory hog. The renderer now runs 20% faster on the Dreamcast version. Now the optimized worst case memory allocations bring in a total improvement of 40 times. That's right, yeah, memory allocations were that inefficient for quite some time. This used to be a major performance bottleneck on the Dreamcast and one of the primary causes of the frame stuttering. Increased real-time heap defragmentation, throughput by using a multi-regional heap structure which also sets the foundation for DRAM bank aware memory allocation. In theory, the bank aware allocation should boost overall game performances by strategically placing objects within DRAM banks, thereby reducing the latency associated with the CPU cache misses and prefetching. D2 Perlin noise generation is now 67% faster, and the 3D Perlin noise generation is now 40% faster. Perlin noise generation is one of the game's most resource intensive functions. Since the Dreamcast doesn't support conventional SIMD, single instruction multi data, I optimized Perlin noise using purely scalar code. The Dreamcast SIMD capabilities are mainly tailored for graphics, with matrix vector multiplication and dot product being the only SIMD instructions available. The Dreamcast version still needs improvement to achieve essentially a steady 30 frames per second. We do know that. There are unoptimized errors in the engine that offer plenty of room though for optimization, so there's absolutely still hope here. Now what you're seeing right now is the actual PC version, the unoptimized version, running pretty darn well. That obviously, you know, it's a PC at the end of the day, it's got it's a powerhouse essentially compared to the Dreamcast, but also great to see nonetheless. Drop a comment, let me see what features you're most looking forward to in the Dreamcast version of the Minecraft engine being ported. I'd love to know. As always, drop a like, comment and subscribe. It's Alex signing out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. As well as that, you can also back the channel on Patreon. QR code is down below. But obviously you can check out this video. You can also check out that video. And on that note, it's Al signing out.